Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. I would like to say a big thank you to all of the viewers and subscribers who have supported and donated to this channel. It really means a lot to me and it really um, helps this channel out a lot. So thank you guys. Today I have a uh, simple um, PowerPoint reveal game tutorial to show you guys. Um, once you get uh, used to um, making um, this simple reveal game, you can try out the more advanced version. So here we have the squares for the reveal game. You can click on it to reveal what's behind the square. And you can put questions on the front of the squares um, so the students can ask questions or answer them by uh, um, choosing the square by making a question or answer. So here we have the first slide. Um, you can download this template in the description box and follow along with this video as well. Um, slide five here, we have the example character that you can put behind your um, a reveal game or your squares. And here is the square that I used for the game. It's very simple. And here are the dimensions for the square. Uh, you can test this out uh, when you make your own game. If you guys have any uh, particular question, um, don't hesitate to write them down in the comment section below, and I'll take a look at that. So here is slide one, and I have the instructions here on slide one. Um, download your template and follow along with this video and try to make your own game. So the first slide, um, we made a gradient background. Uh, to do that is very simple. Um, just go to insert new slide. You can do a blank slide, that's okay. And uh, right click on um, the new slide and go to Format Background. And go to the uh, Field tab and you want to scroll down to um, Gradient Field. You can do a Picture Field, but then you, you won't be able to move your picture um, once it's uh, filled into the background. So you want to do gradient field. I have here uh, already um, a gradient already filled in. I chose uh, radio. You can choose any um, type you want. Just So just play around with it. So I chose radio. And then you can put whatever color uh, you want. So just test that out for yourself and see which one um, you prefer or which one you like better. So here on the um, tabs for the gradient, you can choose the color. I usually start from dark to light. Uh, you can do it however way you want as well. So we'll just play around with the color a little bit, the color scheme, and just drag it uh, until you get the color that you like. And when you're happy with it, uh, we'll just move on to uh, step two. So once you have your gradient background, you want to put a uh, picture on the gradient. Um, so we can uh, go ahead and grab that from the example slide here. So just grab a picture. So copy it and we'll just paste it in here. And you can move it uh, uh, wherever uh, you want the picture to be on um, your slide. And you can adjust the size as well. And if you want to change the picture, just go to uh, right click on it, go to change picture, choose from a file, and you can insert a new picture in just like that. Uh, but today we're gonna keep it on the minion example here. Now that we have our picture um, in the background, we want to uh, make squares uh, to hide our, uh, our picture. For today, we're just we're going to use square as an example, but um, once you get more advanced, you can do different shapes, triangles, rectangles, etc. Or you can make it into like a puzzle as well. So here, um, I, I put one square down and I'm just copying and pasting it and make sure there are no gaps uh, in between. 
So just uh, play around with your square a little bit, adjust it until um, there's no more gap. Take a look at that. Um, okay, there's no gap there, looks good to me. Okay, once you've checked your square and you're happy with the positioning, uh, just copy the top row here. And we'll paste that to the middle. And we'll just double check to see if there's any gap that needs to be fixed. So we'll just fix this gap a little bit here. All right. Now we can copy the middle and paste it to the bottom. Once you're happy with that, make sure you save your work. And then we'll give it a name so that we can keep track of all the square. And this is the very important, so let's give this um, like a number. We'll call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. So it's always important to give your um, objects names when you're making a game so you can keep track of um, which object is which um, when you're doing a lot of animations and triggers. So this is very helpful. Um, sometimes I get lazy and I forget to do it, but um, yeah, this will definitely save you a lot of time. So now that we have given it a name, we're, we are going to move on to step four. So read the um, notes down here on how to do that. So we'll click on um, animation and we'll open the animation pane and we'll click on a square and make sure it's um, square one. The name is square one and we'll give it an exit animation. You can choose whatever animation you want. It's really up to you, um, your choice, but I'm going to keep it simple um, with a spinner um, animation. And now we'll go to animation and we'll um, click on the animation there. And we want to go to trigger on click. And this is where it's important to label um, your objects. Now we can find it. So when we click on square one, it should play the animation that we want. Now for the rest of the square, um, we're gonna do something um, that's quite simple. We're gonna use a tool called um, Animation Painter. So this tool copies um, animations, so you don't have to um, animate everything. Um, it's very useful for um, a simple click game like this. As you can see, it uh, copied the animation and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to set the trigger or anything like that. So we'll click on the um, animation painter and then click on a square like that. And just repeat the process. If you guys enjoy my um, content and uh, materials and tutorial videos and would like to see more of uh, videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to um, uh, make these uh, videos for you guys. Now that we have all the animation set, you can just test it out by clicking here and there just to make sure that everything uh, works correctly and to your liking. And there you go, you revealed um, the character behind the square. This is a very um, simple uh, game, but uh, you can also make it very advanced as well. And I will show you guys the advanced version in the next video. So if you want to um, 
do more uh, for your game or to your game. Um, you can add text uh, to the square and um, right now I'm going to choose a font. So I select all the squares, uh, choose a font and a size and color. And you can write a question just clicking on, by clicking on the square, you can just write a question over it. Um, so you can use it uh, with your lesson and you can do it, uh, use it as a review type game or um, whatever um, you want it to fit your, um, your classroom. Just go ahead and do that. So we're just doing a lot of do you and uh, do you have questions um, since my students are um, practicing this question. Um, I'm going to show you an example here. So once you're happy with your um, question, uh, you can test it out by hitting the play button. Uh, now you can either ask the student and the student answer or the student asks you the question and you answer, vice versa to reveal what's behind uh, the square. As I mentioned, you can make your picture smaller so it's harder to find. Um, this one is, this, for this example, it's quite big, so it's very easy to, um, to find after you click on a square. If you want to change the picture, um, just bring the picture to the front. I just dragged the picture uh, from the bottom up, but you can uh, do other if you know other methods you can try that as well but this is a very simple way drag the picture up and then it's in the front and now you can right click and uh, change picture from a file and once um, you have that you can move it to the corner somewhere like this um, as I mentioned you don't have to put it in the center because it's really difficult to I mean really easy for the students to find and now they need to work a little harder to find uh, the image But my next advanced video, I'll show you guys how to do a more um, interesting uh, reveal game with sound files, different animations, um, so that your students, uh, keep your students excited uh, when doing these um, reveal games. And now um, I just drag the picture behind uh, the squares to put it behind there. So, um, if you guys need to refer, refer to um, slide six for um, the demonstration uh, picture and square that you can use for your game. I hope you guys enjoy my simple reveal game tutorial today. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, write them down below and I'll take a look at that. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest material when I put them up on this channel. Also, um, it would help uh, this channel out a lot if you can give this video a like, comment, and share it with your, um, your friends and other viewers. As always, I want to thank you guys. I wish you the best of luck in your classes.